Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome back to Elden Ring, where last time we entered the Eternal City. And in this case, we found our way towards an aqueduct of some sort. I think I might take their advice on this one. Range battle. Let's see, where is it? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Quick check while well, what that we actually did get. Let's see. Where is it? Litany of proper death. Order healing. Here we go. Alleviates death blight buildup. One of the incarnations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, used by hunters of those who live in death. Alleviates death blight buildup. The noble gold mask lamented that what has become of the hunters, how easy it is for learning and learnedness to be reduced to the ravings of lunatics. All the good and the great wanted in their foolishness was an absolute evil to contend with. Does such a notion exist in the fundamentals of order? Be wary of... Yeah, that makes sense. Be wary of tree. You have to admit, the whole cold flame thing is very... Yeah, it's freaky. Like, in a good way, but it's still freaky. Yeah, you know what? That was my own fault. I got bloody... <sighs> I allowed myself to get distracted by... The big, the big threat. I didn't realize he had the small little bastards helping him out. And once they were in the mix, you just... Oh well. Ah, yes. Well, thankfully, it seems that the one we killed before, he's just dead. So... Well played, game. Well played. dead. Good to know. Very good to know. Let's 
let's see what else this place has to offer. Well, apart from... You know, golden centipedes. Centipedes and ruins. Okay. You can go down. And thank you for the somber smithing st stone, you little bastard. Alright. Now that is interesting. So champion ahead. Who? Wait, who is this? Here. I don't believe it. Hand over the twin Dharma set. Inner order. Okay. I'm getting the impression that he may not necessarily be sane. Then again, a then again, apparently, he is the brother of the guy. Apparently, they had a very interesting relationship as far as having their soul or whatever. Well, we gave his armor over. That's all we really needed to do. Death required a... The fact that it's allowing us to summon him is not... What it... Yeah, this is... This has... Bot... Yep. Oh, I'm guessing that. D, Beholder of Death.
So he kind of looks like one of those... Joy, there's a second one. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. There's two of them. I should have I should have known the moment I saw that it was a gargoyle. One down. I'm not sure if that was an intentional thing for it to do, but it looks cool. Right. Second Gargoyle down. Gargoyle's Greatsword. Gargoyle's Twinblade. Where's my damn ruins from before? There we go. Just take a quick moment to rest here. Anything of interest? Nope. Great Waterfall Basin. Is there any? Okay, this does look a bit like a dead end. Ah, coffin. Now, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see what happens. Okay. 
I'm not entirely sure who designed this and or why. Apparently they want an elevator. A very subtle looking elevator. That breaks once you get to the actual top of the waterfall. Deep root depths. Okay. Well, there's a guardian tree. Well, there's an avatar of one anyway. Like, we'll deal with that in a second. Just want to have a look at the rest of this place first. All right, screw it. Let's go. To, let's go deal with the tree, the tree guardian before. Anything else? See what's. Interesting. You are not actually a boss. At least not in the sense of... Having a health bar and all that. Down you go. Staff of the Avatar. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. Staff of the Avatar, where is it? I wonder what you what weapon ah here we go. You count as a colossal weapon. Ceremonial staff depicting the Ed Tree in its historical radiance, wielded by the Avatars who protect the minor Ed Trees. The Avatars, emerged in the wake of the Elden Ring's shattering, were determined to protect the withering Ed Trees' offspring. recognize the type of ant this is. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I recognize the type and the reason it has... the reason it's got such a shieldy head. Hmm. 
Namely, the whole, the point of it is... Because in the wilds, it's sort of a, a... At least one particular kind of ant species. They've found their, it's their way of trying to deal with... Invading, other invading ant armies is literally to have a head that they can they can use to block holes into the hive. They li they are literally a living ball walk. I can't help but feel like whatever roots, this is probably an herb tree's roots or something, but they do not look healthy, I think. Like, not necessarily, oh, not necessarily the, you know, rot, scarlet rot kind of sickness of unhealthy, but... Then again, it does have... apparently have giant insects that shoot... if I had to guess, Scarlet Rot as a, sta as a status effect, so... Yeah, this is not the way we want to try and jump. Good god. You gotta give the Souls games credit. They do some they have some interesting level design. I mean what other game will you have that in a variety of environments, for example for instance, have you traversing the roots of a giant dying tree? Try down. Okay, it seems that in order to get over to that side... Whoa, what the... Apparently something died. I don't know what died, but something did. Yeah, we're not going that way. Though that way might be... it's an interesting path. At least lead somewhere. Try target rock. Bad ant. Okay, I'm just reminding myself what. Let's see, do 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 do. Behold, fat coin, fat coin purse. Yep, more or less.
Oh god, there's more of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn it. So many freaking ants. You think you clear them all out, but nope, there's more of them. Well, on something of a plus uh, of a plus side, uh, apparently the tree guard, the avatar, is dead. He is not getting back up. So good. Okay, they're not following. Good to know. All right. I had one moment of looking at the ceiling and suddenly get, literally get my face bitten off by ants. Makes sense. I guess when you, uh, I guess what, no, no, apparently, apparently once you take out the sack ones, they don't come back without the sack. Okay. 
Well, we're thinning the herd a bit. Actually, it, let's be honest, it's thinning the swarm. Ah, two for the price of a little bit of health. Good to... Honestly, a pretty good deal. All things considered. Let there be victory. Let there be light. Elden Stars. Okay. So we want to go this way. <laughs> so I'm just on the edge of here and I know there's at least one ant or something nearby. And it's slightly driving me crazy. Nope. Worth trying. Hmm, thought there'd be a way under it, but no. Apparently there isn't. Okay. So many bugs. So many goddamn bugs. And there be freaking more. Futility, futility, no item this way. Probably not, but yeah, dead end. Eh, thought I'd look. I guess that. I guess there were potentially two ways to get over to where we are now. We just took one of them. Like there was a, apparently a route we may have been able to jump to. Just skip the cave system completely. And again, the cave system did give us a lot of. Is going to give pay off a lot of ruins for us. So.
Gentlemen. Oh, it's... I was gonna say, it's not Scarlet Rot, but... Stuff fucking kills you anyway. <laughs> that was a mistake on my part. Well, we're gonna be taking the shortcut this time around. And so hopefully we'll see if it is a short path. Yep, it's this one. We don't really need it. Come on. Come on, you stupid bugs. I have to admit, this is probably the right call to summon them. Uh -huh. Yep. Thought so. I was hoping they would have followed me or something, but apparently nope, they decided to walk come over here. Well. If nothing else, we can at least get rid of some more of the bastards. A little bit of pest control. Ah, I see. So you, that was an alternative path we could take. Right, fair enough. Oh, we can get on tor torrent. Hooray.
Right, more dead ends. God damn, they just... They just god damn everywhere, aren't they? Okay, where the hell are we now? Deep root... That will... So Lord Godwin, God Godwin, he was the one that was assassinated, wasn't he? Bloody hell, I just realized what... what that thing was. It's a freaking... it's one of the gargoyles. It's been only seen a lot better days, but it's a gargoyle. Okay, any more of you pricks still alive? Yes. Any more? Are you all dead? It looks like you're all dead. Okay.
course, it's the bloody bear. Well, bear's dead. Prince... Prince of Death's Sis. What the hell is this? What in the freaking hell? Key items. Because this looks bloody important. So Chaos Bed... Need to get work with those. Like, I'm pretty sure it's not a weapon. Alright, we also have that, don't we? Okay, fair enough. Let's see, info... Nope, nothing there. What the hell did we just pick up? It's not an ingredient from the looks of it. Not a smithing material? Did I miss it? Not a tear... See, seeded curse. It's not a spell. Not miracle or a sword art. Is it a weapon? Doesn't appear to be. A shield, maybe? No? Maybe it's some sort of armor. Who, kn who knows? Not a helmet, at least. What the hell did we just pick up? Oh, wait. Talisman. That might be it. Here we go. Greatly rises vitality. A fetid, overgrown crisp taken from fa fa facial flesh. Greatly rises vitality. Vitality governs resistance to the effects of death. It is said that this crisp came from the corrupted visage of one unable to die a true death. Indeed, it comes from the Prince of Death, Scion of the Golden Burr, and the first of the dead amongst the demigods. So basically, the bear took a chunk. That bear took a chunk out of the out of a demigod's face, and apparently, okay, that makes this a bit easier. Apparently, the demigod who died isn't as dead as. We would have liked it as anyone would really like him to be. Or at least the original guy who got assassinated isn't dead. Well, not dead, dead, anyway. Well, I can't open that door.
God damn. I see the basilisk's eyes and they just quiver and... It's bloody freaky. Stop that. You do not have permission to have anime eyes. You want to know the really annoying thing? There is still a boss fight back in the... Before we got to... Yeah, before... You can go down. Vacuum slice. Sorry, where was- oh yes, there was- in that area before, there was a boss battle with one of the beast spirits or something that we didn't actually- like, we unlocked, we never actually went to try out. Oh god, the water here is just so meh. Right, none of that bullshit. Oh joy, there's so many levels to this place. That's... that's just fantastic. Let's... we'll start by clearing out the ground floor and we'll go from there. Night down. Oh uh, yeah, I thought thought I saw you. Come here, you little prick. Basilisks and ghosts, that's what we have to deal with. Yeah. The Nameless Eternal City.
Okay, there's something up, something nasty. I suspect something nasty is going to pop up around here. Human bone shard. Smithing. Or not. Apparently this is just where they dumped coffins. joy it's another one well we can always come back do some more exploration Here's the question, where the frick are we now? Onslin River, Maine. All right, bloody no. Whoa! Hoo hoo! Fuck! Yeah, we've been here before. Or at least in this general... The general region. To be more precise. Because, yeah, there was, yeah, because I remember there was. When you try, yes, you couldn't go this way, so. Yeah, we're in a higher section of a new area. But we're in the, a higher unexplored section of an old area, to be more precise. Come here, you little shit! <sighs> ah, 
Not gonna lie, it feels good to be rid of those things. Because it's so much less hassle. Okay, just a quick... We'll go around, quickly loot some loot shit. And... After that... Well, after that we'll decide what to get, where to do from there. Okay, that was... Right, this is new. I admit I'm a bit, a bit embarrassed, it took me so long to catch on to what you're meant to be doing, but... Yeah, this is a nasty. This is nasty. Burn, you little shit! Burn! Item ahead. Clayman Ashes. What the f... You know, that's a good question. What the hell are the Clayman? So that's the Death's River Main. See, Clayman, Clayman, Clayman. Here we go. Ashes remains of which that dwell. Bowed with age, these spirits are sluggish but hard to stagger. The warped remains of priests who search for revelation in service of the ancient dynasty. They employ two sorceries that develop, produce smaller and larger bubbles. So effectively the claimant were originally some sort of priest. Or at least some of them were. Honestly, I think it's a testament just how strong we are as a as a character that we can actually stagger these things.
even to the de degree that we can. Okay, yep, this is where we killed the, you know, skelly insect. Yep, this is the path we must take. Alright, more bugs. Damn you little sh little shotgunny bastard. Bulwark. Poison Bulwark Ant. Interesting. It's a good combination. Okay. So that way... So this way probably, I believe, goes to... Strange short ahead. Can we talk to you? Oh shit, there's more of you. Let's see... Could try going down there, but I think we've already been. Bloody weirdos. Okay, I probably should stop recording going on a fair while, but... There's always that part of me that wants to push forward and see what we get. Or at least on to the next... next side of grace, because we're probably overdue for one. See what I tell you, we were overdue, and we found one. Okay, I do believe we might call it here for now. 
and just for the sake of covering our faces. Until next time, my name is Bright Ops. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.